All right, let's continue on with this oval window. Uh, a lot of people will look at this, and what happens is you look at the whole thing, and you go, wow, I can't make that piece. You know, there's no possible way. What you have to do is figure out what you can't do first. The first thing is you can't bend this way, this way, that way. You can't do all that at once. So you're going to have to do what you can do. Okay, and then work from there. And this is where people try and they try and overthink this stuff because they're sitting there thinking, "Oh, I got to do all this at once." No, you don't. You just need to make. You could make this in three or four pieces if you need to. Uh, that's how Fitzy's metal does it. And you know, I do it sort of like that, but a little bit different. I'll show you what I'm going to do. Is Hopefully you guys can see this lower edge right here, you know, this is roughly, let's just say, I can just put this one behind, you can kind of get the distance, ain't going to measure anything. It's about that much. So what I need to do is bend this edge first. Okay, I'll build, just bend a straight edge all the way across there. So I'll go ahead and bend that and I'll bring it back in. So I'm going to have that edge bent first, and then we'll just go from there, and we'll make this the same as what we've got on this side over here. So that's what we're going to try and do. First thing I'm going to do is bend that edge. All right, the next thing I need to do is kind of get myself a straight edge here. Let's clamp this on here so I can see right where I need to bend to, right? That's all you're doing, getting something on here so you can, you know, clamp it over here too. Get another one, I'll clamp my straight edge on there so I can see where I'm bending to, and then we'll go from there. All right, so we can see what we got to do now. So I need to go, hopefully this piece is long enough. I know it's going to be really close, so that's what I was already looking at. Kind of get just a rough piece. It's nothing special, no big thing. But we need to know where this bend is, which is right here, right? But this could be butted along here, or lapped or something. You could even tuck it underneath. That's what I was thinking about doing. It's just cutting it and then tucking it. There's a lip right here. So I could put it on that shelf above it. If it's below it, then you might have an issue with the body not going on there very good. If it's below it, you know, if you have to, you can always put a little bit of silicone on your body gasket. Whatever. As long as it doesn't leak, it's fine. Okay, so then... I need to figure out where this thing bends. And it looks to me, if I go look at this side and I go by where that is, and look at this side, I go by where this one comes down, it's going to be right in here, so right past this line. So somewhere past here. A little bit right it's about an inch over from that so I would say this line here is probably the best one let's cross these out let's go with that one and then we'll bend we're gonna use the stretcher shrinker but I think what I'm gonna do is first trim off some more what I don't need because I don't want to bend this whole piece or waste it all so I know that I'm gonna go along right here to about right here what I'm doing is I'm looking on top and the bottom kind of measuring it out so I'm going to cut I can cut just like across here I'll just go up a little bit above it for now going across there and at this point I'm going to want to go up like that because I'm going to wrap it over the edge here okay 
show you that a little bit later. This is something I just had to sit here and look at it for a minute. You know, you don't just know by just looking at this. You just kind of look at, okay, I know that I can't bend all these different things all at once. So I know that I can bend this edge first, so you do that. And then, okay, I know I'm, I can bend this afterwards. And I know I can pie cut this and just lay it over if I need to, whatever. I'll show you in a second what that is. So it needs to go out to about, let's say, right up here. And then over, by the time I bend this and lay it up, it needs to cover all that area. So that's really over exaggerated, but I'll go ahead and cut that out so that we've got something to work with, okay? Just so we don't waste the whole piece of metal. All right, so that's the one you ended up with there. So when I put this up here, if I tried to bend this going this direction, right? If I tried to bend it, like what I need to do is it needs to go down and around and be bent right here. If I need to bend that, I can't do that. So I could either do one of two things. I could put it in the in the uh, stretcher and stretch this area, or I can just cut slits in here and bend it. Because if I just cut this with a cut this with my uh, shear right here along make a few cuts along there i can bend it to whatever shape i need and i can put another piece of metal on there and make that shape but i'm going to use the stretcher real quick to do that so i'll show you what that looks like after i get done i can't film over there right now because there's a lot of stuff in the way see how close i got it it was guesstimated i might have went a little bit too far so now i'm going to shrink this just a little bit I went just a little bit too far here because you can see there's a gap right here. So it needs to go upward. And the only way I can do that is if I stretch or stretch or shrink this a little bit. So I'll shrink that. Maybe stretch it over here. Move that around a little bit where it fits. It's not that far off, really. Maybe just one little hit with the shrinker. I think right in here. You just do that. All right, how do I do? How do you look at? Oh yeah, that's pretty much right on the money there. Yeah, it's not cut the length. I got the length all wrong. I probably need to shorten this a little bit. Okay, shorten it there. But now the problem is you can't bend. I cannot bend this right here, right? Problem is right now, I can't bend this part up. All right? And what we have to do to do that is something, I call it either a slit cut or a relief cut, whatever. And we'll just, just use scissors. You could have done the same thing right here. You could have just made a bunch of slits in here i've done it that way for years one guy says to me oh why don't you just buy a shrinker and i was like yeah you know i've been kind of putting that off so you don't need it just one of those things i put off for a long time and i just was like eh, yeah i guess i'm gonna do a little more of this stuff i'm doing youtube i might as well buy it for doing my own stuff at home for years i never had anything like that i didn't care it didn't matter you know but I, I just did it because, you know, might help other people see that, that what that tool does, get rid of some of the haters or whatever. I really don't care much, but so I'll mark the top of this where that line is and then where kind of all along here where this needs to be. Let's see if I did a very good job of that. Okay. We'll just, we know that this is correct right here. So if I just follow that line all the way along. Okay, that's where I might need to bend it to. So, let me do this on camera so you guys can see. It's not that hard. It's actually pretty easy to make this piece. All right, so here we go. I've just measured here. I've got a little lip here. 
and I want to tuck it on top of that. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and cut this part out first. So again, I did the first two parts off the camera. I think you guys can figure that out. You can bend it with a metal bender. You can use a pair of duckbill pliers to do your bends. You can, there's just a ton of different ways to bend metal. Put it in a vise and bend it. You got a big enough vise. You can dip two pieces of metal and clip it between them and cut it between them and do it that way. I'm gonna cut that piece off first because I know that that's gonna come out of there. That's gonna tuck underneath. I'm just gonna go ahead and shove that underneath. It's gonna be like underneath this way. And I'll grind that down where I need it to be. But I know that this goes, let me just do this. This is where the V is, right? Kind of make this thing look straight. I'm kind of over exaggerating this stuff for you guys because I know somebody's going to miss it. All I do is just cut a slit right here. Okay, now I can bend this piece any direction I want to, right? This can be bent before it couldn't. And what I'm going to do to make it a little easier on myself is I'm just going to pie cut this a little bit because it's going to overlap, all right? And that's fine, it doesn't matter. I'm going to pie cut a piece in here just so that it's easier for me when I so I can bend this part right here. So I'm gonna take that real quick and bend it. So I need to cut right here too. Sorry guys. There's another little thing I didn't really get to show you underneath there. Just that might tuck underneath it. And this one's gonna go on the outside, this is going to go on the inside, so it's going to come kind of in here like that. So I'm going to bend that. I think I can probably shove that in the metal bender and bend it. So I'll do that and bring, it, bring you guys back in. I'm just going to bend this little section of it. Bring you back in. All right, so that's what we ended up with there. I just used the vise to bend that. That up in there. Now you can see kind of where I'm going with this. So this has got like more bends in it right here. It's it, it needs more pipe, more slick cuts in it. So what I'm going to do is just cut one more like this, where it's straight. Okay, then that can be bent up. Yeah, starting to make sense now. We can go like right here, put another one to make it a little bit easier to make that corner. The more cuts we got in here, the easier it is for it to make those corners. So I'll bend this part up and then we'll just bend that up afterwards. Take a look at it. All right, see what we got now. Took a really complicated piece, made it pretty simple, guys. This is all there is to it. So now, if you want to put the little groove in there, you can too. I, it's really unnecessary when it's behind everything, but you just mark it here. And you can just take a hammer and chisel in your vise and put that in there if you want. But what we got to do first is now if you wanted to, if you want this to be all one piece and you're that picky, you can cut off this ear. I'm going to do it this way just for you guys. Honestly, if it was my, you know, if I was doing it, I wouldn't care. I just leave it overlapped. People go, oh, well, it won't last. It'll get rust between the layers. No. <laughs> Never had it happen. 
Eh, maybe in some weird climate or whatever, you get it wet before you put Bondo on it, filler on it. Yeah, maybe. But most of the time, I would say no. All right. One of the other things I need to do is, I mean, I could make it so that it has the little weld tabs like the other side does and all that if I wanted to. I didn't cut it quite long enough. Um, I guess that's the only piece of scrap I had this size, so I just went with it. But they can notch this out for this edge right here. So I'll notch that guy out and see what I've got left. Maybe I've got enough to make a little bit of that flapper. And then uh, start putting this thing in here. Actually, I need to uh, flatten the bottom of this a little bit. So, yeah, I can do that after it's up, actually. After it's up there, the bottom of that will need to be shortened a little bit so that it's more like this side. I can do that after it's up. All right, so I am just a little bit short here. Like I said, it wasn't quite a long enough piece. I'm kind of thinking it might not be. A lot of ways to fix that. You can always you can weld another piece on and like another piece on here, make it longer, and then try and make it all perfect if you want. That's up to you. Well, I'm not doing it. What I do is just kind of get the shape there, and then just do. On this piece, we'll just do these little slit cuts, spike cuts, whatever. A little too far from that. It's all right, we got a welder. Start doing that in a second. And bend these little tabs up so it'll go around the corner. Get you guys up a little closer, what do you say? And then, uh, I'll just build this corner. Gonna do a little tabbage here. And then kind of make the corner go there. There. Like I said, it doesn't need to be perfectly pretty. there and I can just hammer those down once it's in place this moved over a little bit I want to put the groove in it I'll put it in for fun it doesn't matter to me I would just leave it carpet's gonna be over all this stuff to me there's really no point in doing stuff underneath carpet but for some of you guys it might be So anyway, I'll make this little thing here. All we gotta do is just use the vise and a and a chisel. You can I can use the bead roller too if I wanted to. It's kind of hard to bead roll something that close to a bend. I easier just use the vise. Something everybody has. All right, there we go. We're going in. Oh. Anyway, I just I'm gonna use this because it's quieter. Maybe it'll help. I want to lower the sound. Guys, move over a little bit. In my way. Yeah, it looks about right. Once that's got some primer on there, it'll look pretty good. When you do is weld up the seams. Have another look at it. All right. Helps a little bit sometimes if you weld up the seams like that. 
so then you can straighten it a little bit better. All right, so what I'm going to do next is just go ahead and trim off some of the excess here. If I get a little lap in there, it doesn't really matter. Not to me. Then I'm going to do this one. I like that. If you look at these things, usually the metal's really like folded up in the corners and stuff too. Anyway, the aftermarket ones you buy, you could sit there and trim all this stuff. But it all if you want it. Just showing you the technique. You do what you want with it. We could sit there and prim all those up perfect and butt them and make them look good. This is an inner panel. If it was an outer panel, you might want to do that. On an inner panel, it's kind of a waste of time. Just do a little more straightening. Get that thing... Uh, Welded it up and looking good. All right, you can see how ugly that looks right now. Give it a little kiss with the grinder. Let's look at it after. Then tell me that looks like it won't work. All right, it's after a bit of grinding there. It's not too much, about five minutes, two minutes, three minutes, two minutes, I don't know, but not very long. And we got it looking pretty flat not too bad you know there's some overlap metal there but again if you look at the corners on these things when they're normally bent like the aftermarket ones they're kind of wrinkly too so let's take a look at it in place all right so that's what it looks like in place take a look at this I'm thinking maybe what I'll do is kind of hammer this up a little bit and just lay that sucker right over the other one right there and just weld up that seam I mean it's not going to be very far off the 16th is not going to really hurt there's you got the thickness of the rubber you know it all kind of is designed for some wiggle room there not a lot but just a little bit maybe take that square that guy off with the shear I can find him All right, so then let's take this here, just mark off where I want to grind. I can just kind of clean up right here, up there, around there. Again, if I wanted to, I could just cut this thing straight across there and butt it. Maybe I'll trim it a little bit so it's not so ugly. It'd be a little easier if it's to fill if it's kind of straight. I don't know. I don't like to butt it yet. I don't want to have it cut because when I go to put this in place, I'm going to be clamping it in and it's going to move. And I could cut off that, you know, big chunk there. Yeah, might do that. And then I'll just clean up along here, clean up along there, so it's a little easier. Big long, uh, just take the cutoff wheel and cut that, and then, yeah. None of this stuff is really necessary, but I'm just doing it to show you guys different options, things you can do.
All right, so on this one here, I cut it a little bit off on the right side. If you can see that, it's not a big deal. I'll just make a little piece for that and just throw it in there. It's like this is real visible stuff. Now I'll just go ahead and see if I can use the pinch welder to put that in. I went ahead and cleaned. I painted the back side of everything. And then I cleaned the metal where this is going. That's tricky right here. Out of a good spot. Lost in my way. Got my goggles on. This is hit through with some sparks. I don't know if it's holding or not. Nope. I need more room. Somebody move. Alright, well I got it to hold. It's just Sometimes it takes a few tries and you gotta hammer on it a few times to make sure it's on there. And if it's, uh, usually once it's on, it's on. But uh, you gotta double check it all the time with that pinch water. Anyway, I'm just gonna keep going with that. I'll bring you guys back in. It's kinda tough working here. It's not a very good place to hang out. It's super hot outside right now. So I got the door shut. Anyway, I'll get this part on. I'll bring it back in. I think I'm just going to do this off camera because just so that thing's heavy. It's just uh, slow going. I have to put it on, check every single one of them. Make sure it's on there. And then uh, sometimes when you do it again in the same spot, you have a little tiny bit of paint there or something. It'll burn it off and then you do it again in the same spot and it'll stick. So I always do it. I always check it. But make sure if you get one of these things, you got to check your... Check and make sure they're sticking. All right, a little bit of filler on there, on right here, a little bit on there, just to kind of clean that up a little bit. A little bit on here. I'll get this all primed up. Take a look at it. All right, here we go, guys. Check a look. Got everything kind of fixed up. There's a little dent there I fixed, and I got this thing kind of filled in. Didn't take much. Got this looking good. We're just kind of rough that guy in there. How's that look? So I still got to put something on that. Wipe that edge with some seam sealer once this primer dries. This primer's like a sealer, too, pretty good. Got this all done here. Gotta do a little bit more in the corner over there, but 
for the most part that's looking good yeah never even noticed it was like that uh, all right that's what that looks like there I cleaned that up a little more but see probably do a little bit extra more stuff to it but not too much just kind of get rid of that line a little more a little glazing and stuff and then give it a paint job be looking good underneath there all right so yeah got this thing just about done here this body and then we'll start doing the fenders and all that other stuff talk to you guys in the next video please like share and subscribe